Learning the muscle up. It should first be noted that you should have no problem doing ring dips or pull ups before you start the muscle up. The first progression is going to be our negative. You want to have a strong support at the top and slowly lower yourself all the way down to straight arms. If you can't do it without the help of your legs, you can always put your feet on the ground and slowly lower yourself with a little bit of support from your own body weight with your feet on the ground. A quick note on a false grip hand placement. You want to get it deep into your wrist and uh, deep into your palm from the, the base of the knuckle on your index finger all the way diagonally across that line in your hand all the way down to the, uh, the opposite side of the wrist. Okay. So back to the negative, you're going to support yourself with locked arms at the top, slowly lower yourself down, and again, if you can't do it with just your own body weight, you can put your feet on the ground. You can go toes behind you and support yourself only as much as possible. Do not over spot this movement. Spot yourself only as much as necessary, and then you'll eventually work your way back up. So instead of just the negative, we have the positive as well with just enough support on your toes to help guide you through the movement. You're going to pull your hands close to your face, keep it nice, keep your knuckles close, nice and narrow, right past the bridge of your nose, and once you pass your face, you're going to push your face forward to get yourself through the movement. Next is a jumping muscle up. You're going to raise the rings just, you know, a few inches to a foot or so higher than where you were before and you're going to gradually increase the height of the rings spotting yourself on your toes jumping just as much as necessary to pull yourself in through the transition to the bottom of the dip here is a, a different view to give you a, a little bit better angle of what's going on with the toes you'll notice that I am not jumping hard off the feet I'm spotting myself as little as as little as possible only as much as necessary to help guide me through the movement Always go through a full range of motion. Again, we're going to raise the rings up even higher so I get less help with my jump. The muscle ups are a great exercise um, for balanced development of the shoulder girdle through the same plane of motion. You can train dips and pull ups simultaneously. That cuts down on your training time tremendously. Next we're going to go into kipping muscle ups. You're going to keep that body tight, swing back, kip hard, and pull yourself into that bottom of the dip with a strong transition. This is not the end result. This is just another step along the way. Similar to the clean and jerk for weightlifters or a snatch for weightlifters, the muscle up enhances the athlete's coordination to function as a single unit, pulling and pushing in one coordinated movement. Next we're going to use bands. You can use um, a plate if you have multiple athletes instead of ch constantly changing the height of the rings. For each athlete, you can use one or more plates to adjust the height as well. So we're going to just loop the bands around the rings Put them, put them around your feet, and it's going to help guide you through the full range of motion, deloading some of the body weight so you can get more practice and more repetitions in without stressing your uh, central nervous system so much with the, the high intensity of the movement. You can go from two bands to one. You can change um, what size bands you're using. Constantly play with it and see what challenges you the most. Next, we're going to go to the narrow position. Ideally, you want to keep your body as straight as possible. You see I have a little bit of bend in, in my body, a lean in the, in the torso, and a pike in the hips. To show you uh, an idea of what you're looking for with the narrow hand position, you want to keep those knuckles really close, pass your face to your sternum, and then pull through at the top, very close to the face. The next progression uh, very very much harder is going to be a wider hand position so you're keeping it out wide 
And you, ideally, you're going to work on keeping your hands out wide, outside your shoulders, and pull through in a smooth movement. And uh, ideally, you'd like to do that with a straight body, no piking of the hips, no forward lean of the torso, and, um, and even without the use of a false grip. And finally, we're going to go to weighted. You can use chains around your neck, somehow, you know, use a weight belt or a weight vest as I'm using here and go through your movements as you can find uh, possible to do. <laughs> Feel free to add planches or any other movements as well. That's the muscle up. Enjoy your newfound strength.